Hello everyone, and welcome back to more I the Somnium Files. Last time, we found out a bunch about Date's past. We also swapped bodies <laughs> to go back into our original body. That is why we are currently looking at our not-selves. This is Saito. Um, but yeah, we learned about how all the swapping of bodies worked, how that all played out, and why that all played out. Um, still not entirely sure why Saito uh, wanted to um, use the sink machine if he didn't want to lose his body, but, you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But now, uh, I think we're coming close to the end. Uh, we're gonna see how this all plays out. Uh, what was Falco's real name? Why are we asking that? You would that? know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. 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 Hayato Yagyu. Yes, okay. that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll. Departments would fold. There would be shameful suicides. What? So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison. Mm. Where he was known as number 89. That's why there was all that like, oh, we think he's from like a different country or whatever. Fitting for a man with no name. Uh, what happened after we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No! Stop! It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Right. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Okay, uh, about Rohan after the personality exchange. Yeah, what happened there? Stop right there! Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. So is the reason that he had more memories, um, than what, like, Saito did when he swapped? 
is because it was done in the like non prototype sync machine. Is that supposed to be it? He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer, a serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. Okay. Counterattack? Saito is off guard. I might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep Saito's feet, but then... Yeah, he's got a gun. <laughs> You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. Oh, us die before them or I after? I would of course okay. prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. Iba, wake up. Shock so, him. what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. What is that face? Why does that look so funny? <laughs> no, wait! What the heck? How did he, like, instantly switch? He was like, oh, wait, okay. <laughs> How did he just, like, know to switch between <laughs> who he was targeting? <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? We were you briefed on this beforehand? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Iba told me about it. Ah, I see. Iba couldn't reach the police, so she called him. Uh, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Iba. Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but a bastard got me. Take this. Uh, th Do thanks. It. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after Saito. All right. Hello, spotlight. How did you get that to turn on so conveniently? Iris. Date, do you like fireworks? No, they're too loud. I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. That face again. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it. I can't get him in my sights. And I can't get any help from Iba. Can you not? Blooming. Scattering in the moment. If Iba was able to make a call, maybe she can do a little bit and more? it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma, the splattering blood. It's art. Perfect, beautiful art of a l don't blink. Oops. I want this to burn into your retinas. I think that said of a lifetime. Oh. It's art, perfect, beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. 
Well, the one you have left. Damn it! What do I do? What do I do? Is it gonna ask me to... Why would you... What, what are you doing? Now you're easier to shoot. Or hit. Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa! Everybody's here! To here. Help Wait, Mizuki! Ow! Oh my god, someone, like, finally got shot. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared they're gonna randomly throw in a quick time event. <laughs> You find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Huh? Where the hell is he? You ran away? Uh, hello. Hi, Iris. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Mizuki, are you okay? You've been shot. How's your foot? You weren't shot in the foot. <laughs> You're shot in the leg. I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop what? worrying about me and go get that guy. No, I have to talk to you all first. Sorry. Uh, when did you get here? <laughs> Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping too. I heard it too. From Saito. Cool, cool. It's really you, right? You came to help? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. Okay, can I still talk to people? Ota's looking at me uneasily. Mizuki is leaning against Iris. What? I'm trying to... <laughs> clicked on her hand. Iris is holding up Mizuki. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, am I supposed to be trying to find him? Saito took a blow and fell on the other side of the container. When I climbed up to look, I couldn't see him anywhere. He's not behind the container. Stairs? Window? I heard footsteps earlier. Like someone going up the stairs. To the top floor! Can I go up them? Saito took the stairs upwards. Oh, these stairs are broken. Never mind. <laughs> it's raining hard. Equipment. This looks like a machine of some kind. Is there another way up the stairs? Ladder? L ladder, please? <laughs> oh my god, I can't click the ladder. Ladder? A ladder. Climb it? Hello? I can't see Saito. Am I literally just like looking for him? Where the hell is he? Up the stairs? Maybe climb them? A column? Am I missing something? Scaffold? Oh. That's. Date! Hitomi? Hitomi! I sprinted as fast as I could, rushing up the stairs, step after step, until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. Huh? Damn it! Mom! Iris! It seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? 
The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Yo, my dude, if, <laughs> if you want to, like, actually, like, kill these people, maybe, you know, don't talk so much. I think that would work with your plan. <laughs> Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. No, you won't. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Ah, I see. Am I gonna have to shoot? You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Date! You want to shoot me. Is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Date? What will you do? How are we hearing you so clearly? Way across here. Should I pull the trigger? What else do I have to do? <laughs> I don't think I have any other choice. Oh, pull the trigger? Don't pull the trigger. God, is this gonna like... Is this gonna like lead me to an ending thing? Ah. Uh... I hate this. <laughs> I'm gonna just choose no. What happens if I choose no? Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? I trust that maybe Iba will be okay and, like, do something, maybe. You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. Still in my hands? Can I hand it to someone else? <laughs> and one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Not that anyone else here knows how to shoot, but, you know. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I what told you about! <laughs> She's just, like, appearing in a video call? Okay. Iba. Are you gonna like self destruct? Is this gonna be. Huh? Self destruct. Ah, I knew it. Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first, what is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Okay. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. Ah, uh, doubt. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Ten. Nine. I feel like you skipped some Say numbers it, there. Six. Five. Date. Command. Two. One. Dude, you, you can't say all of that in one second. It's all right. Okay. even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. 
<laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. Mm. See her brain burn like fireworks. You know, I don't feel like it today, Iba, so... Can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. I know. Command. Four, one, two, zero, five. What's our lie? I... I... I hate you. <laughs> Is that gonna be the lie? I... I hate you, Iba. I wrote this game. I don't know what to tell I you. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Wow, that was a bigger self-destruct than I thought that it would be. I didn't think it would take out his whole head. See, and I don't know if I should be sad about Iba, because I feel like, even though she was like, all of my d datas is gone, I'm gone. I don't know if I fully believe that, and I also know that Has she Iba could be remade. Your left eye? She wouldn't have all of her memories, but... Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Jealous? <laughs> what? Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco, it is you, Falco, right? I mean, you don't need to call me Falco. <laughs> you shouldn't call me that. Yeah. <laughs> I am Konami Date. MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Sinker. And now... Okay. Three months later. Ikume Shrine. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, Did this? we get a new one? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. You're just bringing this up as you're at... Did we just meet here? Oh, good. Hello. Do you like my new body? Yeah. <laughs> the way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? Yeah, you got it, So Iris. I'm really that ugly, huh? What? 
<laughs> no, no. It's a rugged kind of handsome. Uh, how are you? As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop. Kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Oh, did she get the surgery that would have cost too much or something to save her life? Yeah. The nano machines went pew pew and bzz bzz and got rid of all the tumors. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? The entire thing? Wow. She must be loaded. <laughs> That's not exactly true. Oh, okay. Boss didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her, Hitomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. The higher-ups were willing to do anything to keep it from getting out. Ah, I see. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris's treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. In a dream somewhere. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Why did you want to come here? Because this is the, the place. <laughs> I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake. Baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. We've seen this Had so many times. It, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. Yay! By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. Question? What question? When am I gonna hear good news from you two? Oh. <laughs> when will Uncle be my dad? I mean, we only- it's only been like three- three months. <laughs> I mean, technically more than that, but three months now. I turned away without answering. I stared out into the distance, and something caught my eye. Winter irises in full bloom. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Yesterday, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Uh, okay, so we haven't seen her for a while. I was gonna say, like, how long would the recovery for that, you know, uh surgery take it feels like it would be a pretty big one so iris said that she wanted to see everyone who visited her but she's a little embarrassed to go by herself so i promised i'd take her let's go we also have to get home hmm? shovel forge oh my god we gotta go play minecraft <sighs> if you try it i'm leaving no you'll love it <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding but we do have a date don't we the date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go! Alright. Oh my god, there's so many places! Okay, Abyss Headquarters. I'm just gonna go in order. Police Headquarters. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Hello. About Iba. Still thinking about her, huh? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. Can you make another one? I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. Uh huh. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Yeah. <laughs> Second command confirmed. I understand. 
understand. Because you're not your body? You're underestimating the Wadget system. Huh? Aiba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I mean, what else would have been the reason to set up, like, the whole code thing? I mean, I guess there's other reasons, but one of the reasons could be you're in a different body, right? I think maybe she knew your soul, Date. Uh, how are you doing? Why are you asking? You see me every day. I mean, uh, uh, try and be polite. Are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? Club? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize she was over there. Hold on. Boss's friend, Mario. Being in their Nile group chat. I'm not even that close with them. Okay. <laughs> uh, about six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Yeah. Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. Uh-huh. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu. Making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. I feel like, by the way, Date, Date could have been an exception <laughs> to that. A gift for you. Uh, oh my gift? god! Close your eyes. I did as I was told, closing my eyes. When suddenly, hello? Did I just get like gas? Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Why? Uh, what? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. Sweet dreams, Date. What? This is the sink room. Are we gonna somehow be like sinking to see Aiba or something? What's happening here? No. <laughs> Hello. Computer? Oh my god, it, and it's our best friend! I mean, Pewter, Pewter 2. Pewter 2 is a good friend. Hello! <gasps> you are... Was it, uh, Kaneza? It's Kagami! <laughs> Kaneza, where did you even get that from? Only the first two letters are the same! Literally two-thirds of the name is totally different! They start with a K, though. About my face. <laughs> I heard. Plastic surgery, right? Yeah. It's a bad wound to have to remake your old face like that. And change my hair. But it looks like it worked, at least. It's the inspector I see everywhere. Hello. Did you sync with me? <laughs> did you sync with me? I did not. <laughs> yeah, I did think so. But... I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. What? Uh, where's Iris? Where'd she go? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? No. Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Peter was working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito and Side Renju. He was leaking confidential, 
confidential <laughs> confidential information to him. That is true. Peter also helped Rohan inside the body of Number 89 escape. Peter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Uh, then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. Boss brought him here. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. Why? <laughs> Aren't you a crime scene investigator? I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Huh? Kind of pathetic, isn't it? How small is this force that <laughs> you're the only one qualified? Why am I here? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you, you know. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. Uh -huh. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. Eh? Oh, hello. Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play! Play? Shovel Forge. We just talked about this. Huh? What was the- huh? What was the point of that? <laughs> what just happened? Sejima residence. Why do they have marble at the end of this list? <laughs> Why is that the last stop? I know you can go to the Met, like- in any order, I'm pretty sure, but... Hello. I left Iris in the car. I figured that she didn't want to see him. I parked the car a little ways down. She doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. Yeah, it has. This one doesn't make me so angry. Because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask to you chat. something. I wanted to ask you something. Why are you here? <laughs> That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. Eighteen years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kuvakuras to hide the body. Yeah. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. Only three years? Are you familiar yeah. with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. Yeah, that's a silly one. What the heck? That's right. You're not a politician anymore. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People. Who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Nope, we apparently have a lot of other things. Oh, why did you call Shoko's phone? True. Is 
Three months ago, 9.02 p.m. on the Friday Shoko's body was found, So called her burner phone. I asked him why. Do you recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you uh, called her phone? Yes. Okay. Why did number 89 want you to contact Shoko? I can't say exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. Huh? At the time, Rohan was in the body of number 89. Maybe Rohan realized it was when Shoko came to visit the prison. Realized it when Shoko came to visit the prison. That it was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what he meant by realized everything. Okay. Rohan needed to speak with Saito again, but he couldn't, not from inside Fuchu prison. Instead, he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he could get Saito to visit again. Uh, about the chemical plant eight years ago. I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal. That's a word for With all it. of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up. But that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. Dad? I thought of a plan. A foolproof plan to make us rich. Are you not already rich? The chemical plant you live here. Explosion. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. No, he would have eventually. Did we need to see as that As soon again? as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. Yeah, but that had nothing really to do with Monica. He wanted to kill a person, like, outside of that. He was wanting to kill someone, and Monica just happened to be his target. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Uh, why didn't you look for Saito six years ago? Six years ago, my mind was implanted into the body of Saito. Maybe he was glad to be rid of him. <laughs> I just saw this. <laughs> I lost my memory and ended up wandering the streets until Boss found me. She hired me at Abyss and gave me the name Kaname Date. But so, but so, Saito's father never even put out a missing persons report on his son. Why? Because of the woman you call Boss. Ah. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. Right, because she did mention like the congressman is able to like pull strings or whatever. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. 
You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> did you ever meet number 89? By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? Because it's this one. No Leave. Bye. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. We parted without saying goodbye. Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Where should we go next? What's next on the list? The Sagan residence. Here we are. Gonna talk to Hitomi, I assume. Iris, didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? Yeah, you visited me. <laughs> yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. Did I? I said no such thing. Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? Come on, just do it. But I'm not ready. Of course I want to talk to Hitomi. I want to ask her all about what's happened in the past six years. But that's not for me to ask. Even showing up here like this isn't right, honestly. Uh, Uncle, you're so shy! Iris is teasing me. Maybe I could use that sometimes. She can help me loosen up some of my rusted screws. Can I talk to Iris? Talk to her. <laughs> She's just gonna Who be like, talk to my mom. Me. Talk to her. Yeah. That's what you came for, right? Yeah. Wait. Nostalgic. Oh, okay. Uh, how have things been? How are you doing? Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. About Iris's recovery. Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. I already said don't call no, me that. No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> also, uh, that name. Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. About Monica and Renju. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about shooting, invading aliens, or something like that. <laughs> we talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. About your right arm. Sorry. I can't ask her about that. I was the one who did that to her. No! Stop! Yep. I was silent, but she must have noticed my face. Or by this my face. About my arm. Don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. Hatomi and Iris know everything that's happened so You're far. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. You have to take responsibility. Uh, Iris. What? No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. 
That's how he can make it up to you. <laughs> Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us. To the ocean, a river, an amusement park, barbecues, and we can make okonomiyaki. And have another war. Let's go. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course! That's why it's fun! <laughs> Six years ago, I was an assassin. Nothing I can do now will make those crimes disappear. But if I protect them, make sure they're always smiling for the rest of my days. I figure that might be enough to outweigh my sins. Oh. We're leaving. Bye. It's been fun. Let's go to Lemnus Gate. Who's gonna be here? Ota, the receptionist? <laughs> we gotta talk to the receptionist. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody's here. I saw Mizuki when I saw Lemnus Gate. Because of what happened this morning, Mizuki and I are in something of a cold war. She won't even look at me. We're both stubborn. Neither of us wants to apologize first. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, yo, hello. Uh, can you ask? <laughs> Hold on, I wanna. Yo. Yo. She ignored me with all her might. Yeah. Yeah. I extended my hand like a sword, ready to strike. You wanna fight me? No. No oh, thanks. She didn't seem to take it as a joke. I better not fight her. I wouldn't get workers comp for that. Hello. Hello. How are you? Creepy old lady. Nothing, huh? Okay. <laughs> Can you ask Mizuki if she's graduating soon? Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? She didn't say Just buy anything. me a new junior high uniform. <laughs> she didn't say anything. And hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school. And a new smartphone. And a new iron pipe. You can just like go outside and get an iron pipe. <laughs> you can just That's like pick those said. up anywhere. Uh, can you ask Mizuki why she's here? <laughs> Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemnisgate. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I'd be here? That's what she said. Uh, hold on. There are people that I need to talk to. Thank you. Thank you? What? Excuse me? Uh, you might not remember, but three months ago, I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Thank you. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. You want to go to Atami with me? Yeah. Uh, why? Uh, well. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. Uh... I want to rub them. Are we talking about her cheeks oh, again? I could rub them all day. What? You're too curvy, tight. Oh, my shoulders. Oh my god, thank you. I've had so many knots lately. Ugh, perfect timing. Go ahead. I'd love a shoulder rub. <laughs> I got up and moved behind the receptionist to rub her shoulders, then sat back down. <laughs> well, Mizuki's not talking to me, so Iris and Mizuki stared at me the whole time. Their icy gaze pierced my soul. Well, you're not talking to me, so... Hold me? Hold me! Hold me tight! Hold me tight! What is oh, happening? My good fellow, feeling a bit worse for where are you? Worry not, I shall embrace you. No, not you! <laughs> okay. 
Uh, what about you? You. Moi? I am merely a taxi driver, my good man. Have we met? Well, let me see. No, I don't think we've ever crossed paths. I have an excellent memory. We did in another lifetime, I'm sure. But I cannot place your face. Oh, that's right. I look different than I did three months ago. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I have an appointment to wait upon a young celebrity. I was told to wait here. Okay. I feel like I've seen him before. Okay, can you uh, ask Mizuki how she's been? <laughs> Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Uh... Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Dante... How can I eat eggs like that? <laughs> I want my eggs over well, burned to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Same. Why don't you just eat an eraser? No. Why would I want to eat like a runny yolky egg? Blech. An eraser would taste better than what you served. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? <laughs> when I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> was I not? Not this time, no. What? <laughs> then what was that memory? Anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Date keeps his promise, I will. Promise? What's the promise? Do. You said you would take me. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. All right, next up. Next up we have Sunfish Pocket. Sunfish Pocket. Is Ota going to be here? I yep. am seriously so happy for you, Tessa. It's thanks to you, Ota. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. Uh-huh. I see Ota is still Ota. Mermaid! The person that I came to see- who is that? Can I talk to them? Other mermaids. These mermaids are luring in customers, then hitting them right in the wallet. <laughs> the men in here are likely to see Davy Jones soon. Anybody? No? Okay, hello. About my face. Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face. More than the other one. You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> Anything else? We can't look at her skeleton because we don't have Iva. The mermaid girls are standing around. Uh, can I talk to Iris? What's your relationships with the girl? What relationship with the girls here? They work together, right? You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part time. Sup, girl? Uh, Excuse me? 
<laughs> you can't just say that. Did you have anything else to say? I was just sitting there. Okay. Hello, Ota. Hello. Oh my god. Shadows. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAP. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAP. <laughs> ASAP, you bet. I can't believe you remember that, Uncle. I'm so happy. I said most of it. <laughs> Just ignoring him. Uh, how have you been? <laughs> I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. You're making money good. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Uh, doubt uh, it? I don't know about that. Really, though? I've gotta be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. No. I <laughs> thought of kicking his ass, but I don't think it would take. Glad you're okay. I'm actually exhausted right now. Working my so, so many jobs, three job, kind of three jobs. <laughs> what was it? Newspapers, cleaning, and writing. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm all right. In your left eye. Uh, it's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. It doesn't talk. Huh? I see. <laughs> oh? So, Iba? What a tragedy. Love. Uh... <laughs> uh-huh. A tragedy? Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. All uh, right. That's why. If she were real, I would marry her. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you would not survive the attempt. What do you mean? Exactly what what Ota, he said. What have you seen? In front of Iris. Oh, Tessa. I was kidding. It was a joke. It's fine. I don't care. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. I don't want to marry you. <laughs> what the heck? I don't think that's what she means. Bye. Well, Ota. Aw, oh, you're going already? I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah. Sure. I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. Okay, next stop, exactly what we just said, the Matsushita Diner. I assume we're talking to Mayumi? Oh, Tessa, Hello. Oh. your surgery went well, didn't it? Does she have a nurse with her now? Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Thank you for taking care of my boy. Yay, nurse. You're... You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Have we met? At some time. That's right. My face is different than it was when Why we met. Are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. The pharmacist sent a nurse to deliver. Okay. Uh, you seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. What? I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. The Association of Nurse Actresses. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end, too. I'm really happy about that. 
I don't think people in the medical field have much time <laughs> to be doing acting on the side. That's wonderful, sweetie. What's your name? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. You're wow, getting married. Congratulations. Yes. That is so wonderful. Thank you. Does she have the same voice as the receptionist? <laughs> the way she said thank you, it sounded like her. Uh, about Iris. I visited her in the hospital. Oda brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. You hated her before. <laughs> oh, stop. You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. <laughs> but now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, about Ota. Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. But he's also a handful. <laughs> Of course, 99% of life is not when the time calls for it. Oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. I would love it. About the diner. It's doing great thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. Oh, it's open again. My okay. husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. Wait. <laughs> never mind. Mayumi suffers from a brain dysfunction. I learned about it just before the incident three months ago. Matsushita Diner was actually closed up, and her husband had already passed away. I was going to say, if it's open again, why is Ota not working here? <laughs> Unfortunately, it turned out that the most advanced medical technology couldn't cure her dementia. But her medicine helps her manage the symptoms. It's a little odd, but it brings Mayumi happiness. To her, her husband is still alive, and her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. I look different than I did three months ago. She did ask who I was, after all. But even if I were in my old body, she might have still asked the same thing. But she does remember Iris. Is that because she's Ota's friend? Time to go. Well, let's get going. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Bye, Mayumi. Love you. The Kumakura office. I don't want to go here with Iris. <laughs> Date. Let me tell you something. God exists. When Tessa Aww. was in the hospital, I pray to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. Okay. God must have been listening. Are you crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving Tessa. <laughs> All right, can we leave now? Anyway, what, what are you doing here? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa, you didn't have to come see me. I really wanted to see you. Oh, well, well in that case, yes, of course, uh, I, I am here. Okay, about Moma. Mr. Kumakura? I think he's really nice. In some lights, sure. Of course I am. About that ring. I won't give it to you. <laughs> okay. Wasn't there another guy here? Yeah, what are you doing? Your clothes. Are you wearing the right size? <laughs> Shut up! None of your business! Lost a lot of weight, okay? You look like you're dying. I'm 
not! You really should see a doctor. Oh, Tessa. Believe it or not, I am a doctor. What? Seriously? Yeah, he doesn't look like it, but he really is a doctor. They come to me when they don't want to go to a real hospital. So... Yeah, he's our mob doctor. All right, what's your name? Why would I tell you? I want to know, too. I'll tell you. <laughs> My name is Yogano. He lost all that weight because of a girl. Boss? Yeah, some nurse at Central. Oh. <laughs> Masu, I think. Really? She's marrying him? Uh, never would have thought. <laughs> what is up with this? Like, <laughs> he has a medical license? These, like, random subplots is the other guy here? No. He was irrelevant. He has no story. Hello. Wedding? What? Uh, about Rohan. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer. A real piece of shit. But we were brothers. I can't be mad at him no matter how much he deserves it. But I can't just forgive him either, you know? So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about him. Hey, how's your injury? Right. Injury? He was injured. You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Sure. <laughs> Wedding. Wedding. Dress. Bless. Tessa. Oh my god. Imaging. Compress. Process. Tessa. Where the heck are you? <laughs> Crime. Redress, transgress, Tessa! The Net Idol Superstar! Tessa! A set, you bet! Wow! That's really cool! What did you do to these guys? <laughs> Just a little propaganda. I was gonna say, so the other guys like her too now? Sun up the sun down? I made them watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted! T -t -t Tessa! I'm so honored to meet you. Are you over here? Oh, you are here. Okay, I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard! What makes you think you're good enough to touch her hand? It's fine. It's just a handshake. Yes. The fat one ran up to her and with a look of awe in his eyes, slowly shook her hand. So soft. Okay. He shouted out in joy. What? Her hands were like covered though. He fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. Jeez, Tessa is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, can I not talk to him now because he fainted? Hello? Guess not. <laughs> Leave. Bye. <laughs> anyway, sorry to bother you, Boba. Date, wait! Before you go, I have one favor to ask. The answer is no. Let's leave. Oh boy, here it comes. The answer is no. Let's this leave. This is hard for me to get out, but uh... yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never asked for something like that. Then what do sure. you want? Puff puff. Uh, I'm sorry. I want Tessa to puff puff me. Excuse me? You know what I'm Just shove my face in there. Just. Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine. I'll ask. Dante, you're a real friend. What is happening? All right. Close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Like this? Good. Yeah. Stay still. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise. You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Whoa! Dante! I've never felt so alive! All these shitty years 
of my life have been worth it. With boss, let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing. I am living. I'm going to ignore that that happened. Marble! Dante, honey! Who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. Why is there a bodyguard here? <laughs> I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot of men. Why? <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey. Because I associate with fairies and am an older motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. All right. What are you doing? You. You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? Who are yous? Oh, right. He wouldn't recognize this face. Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig long time ago. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. Why are you still dressed like a bodyguard then? I punched him in the face and quit. What? <laughs> You're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not... Drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! Whoops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! All right. Is there anything else? What? <laughs> uh, Mama. What are you doing that with that Bonito? We already know. This? It's not Bonito. Then what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> All right. How are you? As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How could I see that? You want to? I do! I want to see! Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? About things for the past three months. I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Saito Sajima and his body are both gone forever. The body I was in for the past six years. But the head office would never admit that publicly. Because, at the time, the body was thought to be that of Detective Kanamai Date. So they tweaked things a little bit and pinned everything on number 89. Said that he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Kanamai Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it, but that's not the truth. Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. Date's face, for one thing. <laughs> Looking exactly like number 89. Why do you know what number 89 looks like? They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. 
If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. Yeah, that's exactly it. You got it. Let's go. What now? We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. All right. The Harbor Warehouse District. Why are we going here? <laughs> Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! Iris suggested that we come to the warehouse. I thought it was odd, but drove her here anyway. Thank you for today! It was a lot of fun! <laughs> Is the date finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. Wait. Uh. You want me to close my eyes? Do you? And just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh man. Oh no. No way. It's happening. This is very weird. I tried to keep my cool. Right. I closed my eyes and. Okay, open them. What? I open my eyes, and there before me was. What a surprise! Let's just talk to Iris. <laughs> I see Iris' smile against a warm sunset. Hello. Cry. <laughs> been a long time, Kanami Date. Ah, at a time like this, I'm at a loss for words. How are we seeing this? I'm confused. Our eye looks normal still. Say, you... Unless when we were at the, uh, headquarters, we got our eye switched and it just looks like our normal are, eye. Uh, that is, uh, um... Who are you again? You haven't changed. You're still an idiot. Uh, what's going on? Allow me to explain. I, or everything that constitutes my I, disappeared completely three months ago, including uh -huh. all of my backup data. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around the world for years. By downloading and decoding these fragments, I was able to regenerate my memories and consciousness. And you couldn't, like, say that? <laughs> it was the Wadget system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Wadget is like a mother to me, though she protected me as her child. And I am forever grateful to my mother. Never underestimate the power of Wadget. Okay, why are you here? To be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented reality virtual projection of myself. My physical self is... In my left eye? Yes. But why does your eye look... There. I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Everything that the boss did... Okay. She did for you. At abyss when I lost consciousness. Yeah. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eye socket. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm wearing a new piece. I can hear Iba too. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know that I just don't like look like I'm talking to myself. I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so. Is this my thank you? Yeah. But it's not over yet. Huh? 
You idiot. You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct order. You were the one who suggested the self-destruct order. Anyway, I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. What is it? Iris, do not tell him. Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? A, B, C, D. Is it Date? Wait, four, one, two, zero, five. That's five letters. What? A, B, C, D. It's D. And the first? A. And the 20th? And the fifth? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't mean the zero with the letter of the alphabet. <laughs> I see. Anyway. Anyway. Um, Iba. Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number. Oh my god. A what? Hit it! <laughs> a what? <laughs> Is that specifically why you wanted to come here? For this to be your stage? <laughs> why? Is this just how the, <laughs> the game is ending? <laughs> Dante and Iva just standing there, still <laughs> watching her. Okay, she's at least moving. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. What are those lyrics, Masuki? <laughs> Why would you camp? <laughs> oh my god, it's Kagami. That 
dance number that is still going on is like a fever dream. <laughs> Wow. Good job, everybody. <laughs> By the way, everyone, the reason you can see me right now is because I'm projecting oh, my a special type of power. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Your eyes have been opened. Would I like to save? Yes, I will save. Dance has been unlocked in the title menu. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Is that just to watch the dance again? I don't actually want to watch the- oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here. We don't need that. Um. Oh my god, it's over. What a game. I actually really liked that game. There are parts of it that I really did not like. And I think had they not been included in the game, the game would have been better. <laughs> but in terms of the overall story and... Uh, just like how everything ended up connecting together at the end they had like a bunch of different pieces that you kind of like get over time that i think were really good that help you solve the mystery if you were to like pay attention close enough and when you learn things later on you look back and you're like oh my god yes i knew that we like saw that it all makes sense i think that pretty much everything was explained really well. The only thing that I can think of that like uh, wasn't really explained is the fact that Mizuki is just strong for literally no reason. <laughs> she has no reason to be that strong and it's never explained why she is. Um, but all over look that this is a an anime video game um but yeah the game could have done without all the weird stuff with people being creepy and uh perverted especially um the ones where it's someone older and it's towards a younger person um i didn't like that part but yeah Overall, I really enjoyed this game. There were times where it was confusing, um, but I think they really pulled it together in the end and that it's really well written. Um, the sinks themselves, I think were sometimes a little bit confusing. Um, I think there could have been a bit more like logical direction added to some of the sinks and that might have improved that gameplay a little bit more because sometimes it did really feel like you had to just um 
you know, trial and error and kind of guess things. There were some areas where you did actually have to logic things, and I think those were better. But the spots where it was more like... I don't know, do you kick something or do you hug something? <laughs> like, I don't know. Do I hug the lamp? Do I kick the lamp? I, I don't know. What'll progress things? Um, I think they could have added a little bit more logic to that and it would have been a bit better. Um, all of the areas where there was like quick time events, I don't even know if they really needed to have the quick time events, to be honest. It adds some gameplay, but I don't know if it was really needed. Um, I really liked the interrogation portions. I wish there was actually more of that style of gameplay where you're like piecing things together and like presenting it. I think if there was more of that, uh, I would have liked it uh, even more than I do. Um, but yeah, uh, what do I have to say? I enjoyed the characters most of the time. Um, do I have any characters that are like my favorite? I don't know if there are any characters that like stand out as like they are my absolute favorite in this game, like hands down, no doubt. Um, but I mean, I enjoyed, I actually, I actually kind of really liked Iris. I don't know why. <laughs> I, she's not like a, a character that I would expect to like, but I did, I did like her, especially when she like started talking about, uh, like a bunch of conspiracy theories and like secret societies and different things like that. I enjoyed that. Um, I could see her as being like, if I knew her in real life, I would probably want to be friends with her because I feel like she would have a lot of stories and stuff to talk about, even though she acts a little bit weird sometimes. Um, so maybe Iris? Is my favorite character. I liked Mizuki when she wasn't being all like Sundere. Uh, she was good. Date, there are things that I didn't like about him. I wish that would have been more silent. Uh, but overall, I think he's a good character and I liked him. Uh, Iba too, there, <laughs> there were parts that were weird, but uh, overall I liked her. Um, yeah, and I like Peter, even when he was doing things that he should not have been doing, like listening to people who are not who they present themselves as. But uh, I did really like Peter. Um, oh my god, and uh, how could I forget my best friend? Um, what's his name? Kagami? <laughs> uh, I liked Kagami. I like that that's like, a, <laughs> just like a random back, background story kind of thing going on <laughs> that like continues throughout the game. I thought that was funny. Uh, some of the humor in this game uh, really hit and other times it didn't. Um, I know that part of that is just like me and my personal taste. Uh, another part of it is because like that stuff really isn't that funny, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to ramble too much, but, uh, I really enjoyed this game. I really liked it. Even though there were times that frustrated me, um, I do really like this game. I think it's like really well put together. Uh, and the next game that I'm going to be playing will be the sequel to this one, which, uh, is I the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative? Um, I believe is what it's called. I don't have the name in front of me, but that is what I will be playing next. I like to kind of play uh, the series of games kind of back to back. I feel like that generally works uh, better just for like memory and continuing on with things. Uh, surprisingly, I know like nothing about the game. The only thing that I do know is I think that you play as Mizuki. Um, she's like featured on some of the art for it. Um, 
but I have no idea what the plot is gonna be for it. I haven't heard like anything about it. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see what that game is about and if they've improved on some things. I haven't heard anyone's like opinions on the game either, so I don't know if it's well received or not well received. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be playing next. There might be a little bit of a gap between now and that game starting, or maybe not. It all depends on how motivated I am to get some recording done, and also uh, the thing that takes the most time is uh, prepping the thumbnails, because I usually make some art for that. Uh, and yeah, if, if I can, uh, I would like to try and record, um, you know, a bulk recording of that, at least for, like, some of it. Because I feel like one of the things that, um, hindered me a bit with this game is that I bulk recorded a little bit towards the beginning, but then I ended up, uh, recording, like, week by week. Which is nice for if people comment things, then I'm able to see them before I, like, go and record the next episode. But it's pretty bad for, um retaining information. I feel like if I had just sat down and played this game, like, marathoned it, or, you know, I, I wouldn't play it all in one sitting, that's way too long, but, you know, played it um, within, like, a couple of days, uh, I would have known things better? That's a weird way to put it. <laughs> but I would have, like, remembered things that happened earlier and things would have been more clear in my head. That's, like, one of the things where, uh, you know, that's kind of, like, my bad <laughs> in how I played the game. I played it over, like, a longer period of time, so it made it harder to remember details. Um, but, yeah. So if I can, I'd like to kind of bulk record um, a bit of the next game. Uh, if you have any um, non-spoiler suggestions uh, about if there's any, like, gameplay or settings things or anything that I should be, uh, you know, aware of, feel free to let me know. I don't want to know anything about, you know, what the game is about or anything like that, but feel free to let me know. Uh, and yeah, I guess... I guess this is it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Um, it has been a wild ride through this game. I feel like a lot of the games that I play are wild rides, um, but that's just kind of what I like. Um, thank you to those of you who watched, um, if you commented or liked videos. Um, if you're subscribed, thank you. That means a lot. Um, if you're not subscribed already uh, and you're interested in seeing more stuff from me, uh, especially the second game in this series, uh, do subscribe because that'll be coming up. Uh, if there's any games that you would like to see me play, as always, you can comment those. Um, even if it's something that I've seen people comment before, uh, I do keep track of the games that you all suggest for me, and the ones that I see come up more often uh, are usually ones that I am more inclined to pick up and play sooner. So keep that in mind if there's anything you want to see me play, and um, yeah. Thanks again, everybody. It's been really fun playing this game and having you all along for the ride. Uh, I hope you all have a nice day, a nice evening, a nice night, and a nice lifetime. Uh, take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next game. Bye-bye!